I like to tell jokes about politics that appeal to people across the political spectrum. This is a difficult thing to do in Seattle because in Seattle there's no political spectrum. <laughs> but with your permission, I'm going to create a political spectrum. So the way most people think about politics is like left wing, right wing. So for the next couple of minutes, audience participation, folks on the left side of the room, the next couple of minutes, you guys on the left, you guys get to be my left wing. A little too much enthusiasm for the left wing. Now you folks over here on the right side, as you guys go, come through for me, you guys over here, you guys are my right wing! Yeah! That was okay, but when I did this in Texas last month, they started chanting USA. I want you to have three, you guys are my right wing! USA! 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 Excellent! Great work, right wing. You folks over here on the left, you guys were perfect also. I don't know, because all the right wing was chanting USA, you were just sitting there looking befuddled and vaguely unpatriotic. <laughs> now that's how most people think about the political spectrum is left wing, right wing, but that actually leaves out the most important part of the political spectrum. The left wing is actually over here, and the right wing is over here, and all you folks over here are the most important part of the political spectrum. You all are my swing voters. Okay. A couple of very important things about swing voters. First of all, almost everybody is a swing voter. Okay, if you're not a communist, or a fascist, you are probably a swing voter. And if you do not know the difference between a communist and a fascist, then you are definitely a swing voter. Uh, now your job, swing voter, is extremely important. Your job is to pay absolutely no attention whatsoever. And then every four years you determine the fate of the free world. Now, I know that sounds like a big responsibility, okay, but trust me, don't give it a second thought. <laughs> and that's really how the political spectrum breaks down. You've got the left wing, spineless. The right wing, heartless. The center, clueless. <laughs> clueless and apathetic. Okay, you're so clueless, you don't know what apathetic means. You're so apathetic, you can't be bothered to look it up. There are also, of course, the extremes of the political spectrum, far right of the political spectrum, just the folks in the very far back on the right-hand side, you all on the far right get to be my libertarians. That's cool, you can do what you want. Okay. Far left of the political spectrum, very far back on the left side, you all on the far left get to be my libertarians. You've seen confused looks from the swing voters. No, no, I had someone in the middle once who was like, Libertarians? You mean the people that check books out for me? <laughs> and I had to clarify that Libertarians are freedom lovers. They come in two flavors. You've got right-wing Libertarians. They want everybody to be free to use guns. You've got left-wing Libertarians. They want everybody to be free to use drugs. <laughs> you can move your seat if you'd like. Now, both wings of the Libertarian Party want to abolish Social Security and Medicare, right? Which makes total sense, okay? Because nobody's going to make it to 65. <laughs> when the world is full of pistol packing potheads, <laughs> meth fiends with machine guns. Now, many people are surprised that Libertarians are the far right, they think that the Tea Party is the far right, but the Tea Party is actually this fascinating mix of the far right of the political spectrum and the far center of the political spectrum. Right, they're this kind of uh, explosive mix of radical individualism and extreme cluelessness. <laughs> no, I mean, these are people who believe in social Darwinism, but don't believe in Darwin. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about politics lately because I'm heading to China for the rest of this year, and like, I had this hope that I go to China and the Chinese people are going to be like, tell me about democracy. And my fear is that I go to China and the Chinese people are going to be like, what's up with your budget deficit? And I'm going to say, let me tell you about democracy. I mean, it's almost like the left wing blames the right, the right wing blames the left, but I blame the center. You guys are supposed to be the idiot savants of democracy. And when it comes to economic matters, it turns out that you're just idiots. We don't have a budget deficit because the left wing believes in mandates or because the right wing believes in markets. We 
We have a budget deficit because the middle believes in magic. <laughs> I mean, every time a left wing politician is like, hey, I've got a great idea for a road or a school or a bridge, swing voters are like, yeah, let's do that. And every time a right wing politician says we should cut taxes, swing voters are like, yeah, let's do that. And then it turns out we have a budget deficit, and of course you blame the politicians. Like, this is like going to the doctor's office for your annual checkup, and the doctor tells you you've been putting on weight, and the left side of your brain is like, hey, I guess I better exercise more. And the right side of your brain says, like, That's like I guess I better stop eating so many donuts. And the middle part of your brain says, I guess I better get a new doctor. <laughs> then, of course, the tea party busts into your hospital room, <laughs> jumps up on the crazy chair, right, and is like, I know how you can cut your weight in half. Right? You don't need to exercise more, right? And you're like, how did you even, like, what gives you the right to interrupt my doctor's appointment? And they're like, the First Amendment. Right? And you're like, how did you even get past hospital security, right? The, the Second Amendment. All right, smarty pants, what's the Third Amendment? I don't know. Right? Oh, I know, you can cut your weight in half, right? You don't need to exercise more. You don't need to stop eating donuts. You just need to use the metric system. <laughs> If you did not get that joke, <laughs> it is totally not your fault. <laughs> First of all, the joke makes no sense, right? Because the Tea Party would never endorse the metric system. I mean, the metric system was invented in France. <laughs> Secondly, in order to understand the joke, right, you have to know that like 300 pounds is only 150 kilos. Right? Which means that the joke pretty much only works for scientists, Canadians, and drug dealers. 